Feel with your heart, not your head. Today I just want to talk a little bit about trying to get people back to feeling with their heart. I feel like um, society today has got people to the point where a lot of people are living in their mind and living in their head and they live with a lot of clutter. And I know life gets very busy. We all have children, we all have jobs, we have commitments, we have a lot of things that we have to do. But it's really important that sometimes you slow yourself down and you start to live with your heart. So we start to get back to this feeling place. It's, and it's in this feeling place that it helps us to live our life in a richer way. When we're just plodding through the motions and living in our mind and we live for work and we just live for making money and getting ahead and, and having our image is very important to a lot of people, we miss a lot of the simple things in life and we miss that richness of loving and caring and, and having that kindness in our heart. And, and I feel that it's an area that we all need to really start opening up more and really start living with our heart. When you feel things, you need to acknowledge those things and you need to not dismiss them. And you need to know that those things are given to you for a reason. So whenever your heart starts to feel things, really listen to it and open your heart up and allow things to come into your life and into your experience. Because when you shut them off, as and a lot of people do that I know as protection, it, it just blocks things from reaching you and, and, and opening up your world. So try not to live constantly in your head and in your mind because it doesn't allow you to live a very full life. It actually um, restricts you to where you're heading and where you're going. So try and really open up, feel things in your heart and Yes, you will hear things in your head and follow the guidance and things in your head as well. But look, I really think we need to all start getting back to our heart. And like I've said before, there's a lot of lonely people out there in this world and they're living on their own and it's very sad and a lot of them do hide away. So we need to be getting more of these people back together. So listen to your heart and you need to act on your heart because it's your heart that brings you the happiness and living in your head doesn't always bring you happiness if anything it can cause you a lot of stress and a lot of um, sadness and emptiness so try to live with your heart feel with your heart and open up these hearts because a lot of them are very shut down and I think it's an area that all of us need to open up more and you know it can be a beautiful thing to live from your heart and start to feel again because I think a lot of people are very shut down anyway just start living from your heart you're going to have your head as well, but try not to let your head dominate your life because it, it can be quite exhausting to just live in your mind all the time. Whereas if you start to live down in your heart, you'll actually feel a lot freer and your life will become a lot softer and there will be a lot more flow in your life. So just go and try that. Just try not to live in your mind constantly. And yeah, just try and soften your life down and embrace the things that come into your life because they come in to open up your heart. So open your heart. It, it could be a really positive, life-changing thing. Bye.